Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to build my uh, free hip swing harness. All you need is 14 feet of one inch tubular webbing. This is the same material as a slack line. You can get it at REI, it's like 30 cents a foot, uh, super cheap. 14 feet of that. Another one foot length of the same one inch webbing and two carabiners. So to start with, we're gonna take this 14 foot section and we're gonna tie it into one giant loop. And to tie the loop, we're gonna use what's called a water knot. Um, the water knot is fairly simple, but I'm gonna let a better video uh, describe how to do that for you. So we're gonna cut here and pop in a water knot and then we'll continue with the next step. Okay, so we've taken our length of uh, tubular webbing and I've tied the water knot into it, sort of one big continuous loop. And again, I'll post instructions for how to tie this knot uh, in the video comments. And I'm gonna take this uh, like junior size spotting belt. You don't need uh, a pad like this, but it just makes things easy. Feed it through the loops here. And I'm gonna keep the knot at the back. And then do the same on the other side. All right, and now this is going to be the back support of the free hip harness. It's just a little padding. And then the loops at each end are gonna flip over the bar and we're gonna have a carabiner lock them in place. Okay, so we've got our harness and we've got one end with a loop. And I'm gonna show you how to attach the carabiner onto the loop. So it's gonna go over the bar and that's what the carabiner is gonna clip into but we need to fix this onto the line first. So it's called a clove hitch. It's a little bit complicated, so I'll do it uh, twice for you. I'm gonna grab it, thumb down, twist it over, and now you can see there's part of the loop is on both sides of the line going up, and that's what I'm gonna clip into. So I'm gonna clip into, turn this around again. I'm gonna clip into Ah, one side and the other side and it traps the middle line on the carabiner and now the carabiner is locked in place on this length so it can't slide up or down so that's called a clove hitch you just slip the loop end over let's go this way loop end over and then you can just clip into it with the carabiner and now we've got one side fixed. Here's the second clove hitch. Grabbing the rope down, lifting up, twisting over. And now we see the two sides that we clip into. Clip into that side. Clip into the other side. And now we've got the carabiner locked in the line. Throw the loop over the bar. Clip into the open end. Now we've got it. And so to take it down again, all you have to do is unclip here and you can leave the clove hitch in. So when you clip in the carabiners, you want to make sure that the swing has about, you know, there's about a foot of gap between here. If the swing is too long, he'll go too far down the bottom. If it's too tight, he won't, uh, he'll be too restricted. So about this, uh, about that distance. So straight arms, the pad, whatever you use goes on the lower back. Uh, a lot of gyms have a, a bar pad, and you can just um, put that on the swing. We use this, uh, this belt instead. So push against it, walk your feet out a little bit. And all he has to do is lift his knees aggressively so that his, the top of his kneecaps come to the bar. And then the swing and physics is gonna do the rest. So just aggressive lift. <laughs> all right. And so I stop his legs so he can't go over, so then you're not afraid of uh, you know, getting too much swing. So back up a little and just pick. Pick up, good. And then as he gets comfortable, you catch the feet and then you can lift to help him feel when that uh, handstand open timing is. 
Good. Good. All right, now this gets a little hard. You're going to take a little tiny hop and then swing in. But when you hop, you have to keep pressure on the belt so it doesn't slip. So a little hop, swing in. How about do it again? Jump. Swing it through. All right. And right now the action's kind of slow, so another thing you can do is you can push his shoulders down and around so he can feel how fast the whip action is. In the swing, he can also take the free hip over. Uh, the swing stops you from hitting a handstand. But as he shoots over, because he's so close here, it really can't do much damage. If he uh, fails on the shoot over, he's just going to land on his belly. It'll be like a, a baby giant. So big jump, I'll throw you. Shoot it over, you'll survive. Shoot it over. Oh, <laughs> too, yeah. yeah. There you go. Let's try to get one where your feet land on the ground before your uh, chest does. Keep from okay. There you go. And you can see he's got a late wrist shift, so this is teaching him the timing of when to shift so he doesn't finish on top like that. Let's do one more. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> so that's the worst case scenario, he survived.